Let's start our night here at Marlins Park down on the field. Nuestra comunidad, el mundo del béisbol y la familia de los Miami Marlins sufrió una trágica pérdida ayer con la muerte de José Fernández. Estamos reunidos aquí esta noche como una familia con nuestros corazones llenos de dolor para recordar un hombre y pelotero que significó tanto para todos nosotros. Lo mantendremos en nuestros corazones para siempre. Our community, the baseball world, and the Miami Marlins suffered a tragic loss yesterday with the passing of Jose Fernandez. Our hearts are heavy with sorrow as we gather today, together tonight, as a family to remember a man and a teammate who meant so much to all of us. We shall keep him in our hearts forever, and please bow your head and reflect with a moment of silence. Please remain standing and remove your caps as we honor our country with our colors and national anthem. Presenting the colors this evening is the honor guard from the Navy JROR2TC unit at G. Holmes Braddock Senior High School in Miami. And here to perform the Star Spangled Banner for us this evening is the Carrollton Choir.
As the national anthem ended, the New York Mets and the Marlins all met on the diamond and shared an embrace, a, a very extraordinary moment here at Marlins Park. You want to Cespedes? And the Mets, the embrace uh, over now, and now it's uh, for the Marlins and the Mets. You can see the players rubbing the dirt on their Pants. Jose Fernandez in Cuba grew up without rosin bags. And so from Cuba to high school in Tampa into the major leagues, Fernandez would use the dirt on the mound and rub it on the side of his pants. Would not use the rosin bag. And that's how he kept his hand dry.